everybody, Crafty Mum Art Paper Crafts here. It's the weekend again, so I can get online and do some um, videoing. I've got quite a few to do today. So I've come on first just to show you um, the things that have come in the post this week. And um, I've not had a lot for a change, so it won't take long. And I just want to do an update on the die swap. Okay. So, um, I'll do the uh, buys that I've done first. So, I've been into Poundland and the first thing I got was some elastic. It's really exciting um, because I want to make some more um, of my cotton face masks so that we can um, have a few more that we can have in the wash and so we've got plenty to go at. So that's that, it's a little bit wide, couldn't get it any thinner, um, but I found last time I, my elastic was wide and you can cut it so that it doesn't fray if you get it in the right bit. So that's what I will do again, I'll cut it down the middle. Then I got this gorgeous washi tape. Um, again, this was Poundland, loved craft, two metre rolls they are. So it's two meters on each roll and I just love these earthy colors. I haven't got any of these um, earthy colors. I've got silver. I haven't got this champagne color and you know how I like my champagne glitter card. Um, yeah, so I picked that up a pound, obviously. I say a pound, I mean, not everything's a pound in there, is it? And then I picked up, just turn that over. I picked up these two boxes um, because I thought I would, I've never done it before, but I thought I would decorate them and send them as Happy Mail and uh, fill them with some bits and pieces. And I've just realised that it's not just one deep one, you've got that side and then you turn it over and you've got another layer there. And I thought, how brilliant is that? So there's different compartments different sizes you can't change them they're not um, changeable um, but there's different sizes that's a big long one and that's like a ATC card card shape it may be a little narrow for that but anyway so I got those so I've got two of those and again they were a pound each so I thought that's brilliant and even better that they're um, double-sided so I got those so that was my Poundland haul <clears throat> then I got these from Grace's Place and um, this is to go on um, mail that I post out. I previously got some and then she'd done some different styles. So this is Happy Mail with some lovely pink and yellow flowers. And then this is another one, a blue envelope with some different flowers on. So I've got those. And then I got another snail mail, and this is a different one to the one I've got before because the shell is made up of flowers, and I thought that was pretty as well. It's a really happy looking snail look. So look out for those if I send you anything. And then um, I got my freebie that I got the voucher for with my Paper Craft Society box. It said a kit worth twelve ninety nine. Not quite right. Um, it's a luxury shaker kit, and I'm a bit disappointed because actually I've already got this because it came free in the magazine, and um, it wasn't. It didn't say twelve ninety nine on the website. It was nine ninety nine, and then you had to pay a uh, two ninety nine postage, but. I did it anyway because I can always give it give it away um, but yeah a bit I think we've got to be careful about these freebie vouchers because the one that we got when um, Covid kicked in and there was a delay on the boxes and we got a voucher for a stamp set when that came I'd already got it so it's obviously come with a magazine before so you know you think that they're doing you a favor and they're giving you something brilliant but 
actually they're not so I think we need to watch out for that otherwise I love the paper cross society boxes and I love that I can pick and choose which ones I have you know I can opt in and I can opt out um, so yeah I just wanted you to be aware of that that I found that the things that you're getting have previously been with magazine free on magazines so um, yeah um, so yeah just look out for that so I will put this to one side and it will probably go in some happy mail okay so that's that and then um, it was two weekends ago hunky dory had an offer on their prism pens now I got some pens I got pro markers and I got some Arteza twi markers I hadn't got all the colors for pro markers and it was difficult to color things in the twi markers weren't the Arteza twi markers weren't really what I was after and I did find that the nib when you were coloring the nib pilled so you had to pull little pills off it after you know well not after very long actually so um hunky dory had an offer on their prism markers and you got the full set for 70 pounds and that was half price so that came on thursday i opened it up and there was a I was excited and there was a little bit of disappointment because two of the packs were the same. There was pack two missing and um, the prism colouring book, the prism handbook hadn't come with it. So, um, so I rang them up yesterday and explained what had happened and they said, oh, we'll, we'll replace that, we'll, we'll sort that out for you. And oh my God, it's come this morning. I'm absolutely amazed. This box came and it had hunky dory um, sticky tape over it, but it was a handwritten label and it had a second class postmark. So I'm thinking, surely it's not hunky dory. It can't, it can't possibly be. And I opened it up and it was. So here's the prison book that came, crafting handbook, and I'm really pleased with it. I really, really like it. Because I struggle with shading and this book I've seen shows you which colours to use and how to shade hair and that is one thing that I've struggled with to get it right and this actually tells you and I've actually got all the colours. How amazing is that? So I'm going to have some fun with that eventually. I've got such a long list of things that mm. A, I need to do, and B, I want to do, and I want to have go at. <coughs> so that's the hair tones, and then it shows you the um, skin tones. So that's good. And you can also go onto the websites, I read, um, Hunky Dory Crafts Downloads, and you can print a download downloadable faces chart online. So you can, you can practice colouring getting it right so I'm really happy with that so I'll be able to do the hair and the faces and have a good old go and a good old practice and as it says here the key to good colouring is practice 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 so I will download those charts and have a go at that so that will, that's another thing to add to my list I've got such a long list of things that as I said I need to do and I want to do and then you can also download this chart Prism Craft Mark a colour chart and um, and then mark out which ones you've got. Well, I've got them all, but I would like to do it so I can just see what colours I've got. And um, yeah, so I like that. So that's the book. And these are all the pens. So um, they're not going to be in any order. These are the reds. Yellows greens, warm greys, cool greys, neutrals,
browns so that's those there's 14 packets all together so turquoises pinks purples blues pastels brights and darks and it was the darks that I was missing so that's all of those so I'm well chuffed with those and when I ordered those that they were £70 for the whole set and um, it was a big purchase for me um, and I did consider it and I did talk it over with my husband and um, he just said go for it and he's actually got my old pens in his um, craft room come guest bedroom so the other two things that I bought let me just snip the tops off them so it's easy to see when they're out of the packets are two of the vintage Nouveau drops and this one is just get the name right is a chalk stick and this one is blackboard and I haven't got any black Nouveau drops and um, I haven't got many black flat back pearls either sticky flat back pearls so that will be great because they do come in handy and I do like black and especially if you're doing a man's card so they were my purchases from hunky dory and everything is sorted out and I can't believe that that parcel came this morning so that's it from me for this haul oh I just wanted to say um, the die cut swap I will make the draw tomorrow and put the video up so if you can watch out for that if you haven't sent me an email yet please do so before tomorrow morning if I haven't had an email from you you won't be entered into the die cut swap okay so I do need an email with your details on even if you've done it before that's just how I'm working for the die cut swap um, because I know at least one maybe two have said on um, the video about the die cut swap that they would love to take part and they would email me but I've not had an email from them yet so if that's you can you please send me an email otherwise you won't be in the draw I'm really sorry but that's how I've got to do it um, it's easier for me to go through my emails than to trawl through um, the videos and everybody's answers on the videos um, I'm sure you'll understand and I don't want to um, I don't want you to think I'm being awkward but it is so much easier for me just to look in my emails for because the email address that I use is just a dedicated email to um, for my YouTube channel okay so it's it's much easier for me to um, to sort it out from there so yeah if you've not so if you've not emailed me yet and want to take part please do so before tomorrow morning okay thank you very much see you soon bye